Hey, what's going on guys? John here and we are back in the car again to test the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, this time we're going to be testing the Face ID. Now, Face ID is available for both of these devices and they are both generation two of Face ID. So we're going to go ahead and just try to set it up and then we're going to compare it with each other and then also compare it with the other devices that has the same uh, biometric and, um, you know, face recognition system. So let's go ahead and set this up. First time for setting up Face ID on the iPhone 12. So we're gonna click set up face ID. We're gonna click get started and then here we are It's gonna ask us to just rotate our head Which I am gonna do and then uh, we're gonna finish it up for the iPhone 12 Pro here click continue And then we're gonna start rotating All right, so both has been completed a uh, pretty simple now Let's try to unlock it and see if, if there is any difference between the two. I doubt it, but let's do it and it seems to unlock pretty much at the exact same time. So let's try it one more time. We're gonna click it. All right, same time, same time. So let's do it really quickly and then we're gonna just swipe up. All right, so they come in pretty much exactly the same time here. And now let's just check out the angles if there are any improvements. Uh, we're gonna turn them both up and then just swipe up. And at that angle, it's still fine. We're gonna do exactly 90 degree flat on the surface right now. One, two, three, and no, nothing works. So uh, there you guys go. There is no improvements with Face ID in terms of the angle. So uh, we're gonna verify this by just testing it with something older. Let's pull out the iPhone XR over here. And uh, in terms of Face ID, let's see if there's any improvements with speed. They're both running the exact same firmware right now. So three, two, one, and both unlocks at the exact same time. So there doesn't seem to be any improvements in terms of speed with the iPhone 12 versus any other devices. So one, two, three, one, we'll try one more time. Uh, we're gonna tap onto the screen and swipe up. And exactly the same time, it opens up. And now at 90 degree here, we're gonna do it and let's see, swipe up. And none of it recognizes. Although it does take a couple more tries over on the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone XR here. We're gonna turn it up and it does not uh, unlock anymore we would have to press in our passcode and here we go so i guess with face id there's no noticeable upgrade in the iphone 12. uh one other device that i do want to test it out with is my iphone 10 over here so the iphone 10 does have the first generation touch id or sorry face id uh now that is going to be um, pretty different so let's try it out here and here you guys go there is a noticeable difference you will see it takes a little bit longer for the unlock icon to just uh, flip over i will try that one more time here so there we go you guys can see the difference and let's try just touching the screen and swiping up so uh, we'll turn off the iPhone 12 all right and here we go so it does take a little bit longer and there had to be a missed try right there uh, we're gonna put it at 90 degree of course and none of them are going to work uh, so swiping up oh surprisingly both of them worked so let's try it one more time at even a lower angle and this is where Touch ID shines. So originally, I thought that Touch ID was going to be on the side button right here, but uh, I guess they're saving that for the iPhone 12 Pro uh, at 12S and uh, probably the iPhone 12, um, you know, whatever they want to call it. Uh, but yeah, there is no noticeable improvement with Face ID in this version of the iPhone. So anyways, guys, this should pretty much be it for the Face ID test. I guess there's no noticeable improvement. However, Face ID second generation is just so quick already by itself. Uh, one thing I did hope for is uh, being able to unlock your device at all angles just like the iPads but I guess that's not a thing anymore so I hope you guys enjoyed that there's gonna be a lot more tests coming up on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more but once again guys this is it for the iPhone 12 peace out